Are you having trouble tweaking workouts on your Apple Watch Ultra? If so, you are in luck. Come find out how to create a few workouts with the workout app on your Ultra or Apple Watch. Let's start the video with the setup steps of creating a workout. Pull up the workout app and select the traditional strength workouts. You can either create a workout at the bottom of the page or just edit an existing workout. Like I said, today we're going to edit the workout test I've created here. The first option we're going to look at is to decide whether you want a warm up or not. I like setting a standard time here to force me not to skip a warm up. It's very important to get your body and muscles warm and ready for a workout. For a standard workout, I like to set a standard time and that's really it for my main workout. Doing this helps me push and stay on track with my reps and rest periods so I finish in the allotted time. You can also set a heart rate alert as you see here in the footage, but I, I typically don't use this option very often, but if it's useful for you, definitely add it to your workout. Lastly, you have the cooldown option, which you can either skip or set. I typically set it around five minutes for myself. If you want to name your workout something specific, you can type it here, or it will prompt you to type it on your phone if that's available. If you want to edit the workout view screens you see during the workout, you can access this at the bottom of the screen. I have footage later in the video where I create a strength training workout completely from scratch. See my video description for this and my previous ultra workout videos along with the products I use. If you have any questions, please don't forget to leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer. The second workout I'm creating today is a quick jump rope workout. Go to the workout app and find the jump rope workout option. Start by creating a workout now and select the custom option. I enjoy starting with a three minute warm up, but that's just a preference of mine. Once you have the warm up set, next I will select the add option and then work. The work is your jump rope time, so I will set this for one minute. Let's go ahead and add another option, and this time it's recovery, so I set it for 30 seconds. This is your rest periods in between rounds. The final step of this workout is to select the repeats option. Next, you can select the work and recovery options as the repeats for as many times as you need. I will set it at four for this example today. The repeats number represents the number of rounds you will do for the selected options. This means the workout here will repeat these rounds four times before starting the cooldown and ending the workout. This option works great for jump rope type workouts or even interval type workouts. Just like before, set the cooldown if you would like one. Name your new jump rope workout and select create workout. Go ahead and jump into it, <laughs> literally. By now you get the general idea of how to create a workout. This time I'm going to create a HIIT workout with two exercises and a rest period. Sometimes I like to do this with a bike or rowing along with another exercises like push-ups and or burpees. Let's take a look at this workout now. Step one is to open the high intensity interval training workout and select create workout choose the custom option here. We will then warm up for time and set it for five minutes. Click on add to add a segment and choose work. 
For this work segment, I'm setting it one minute to row or bike. Next, let's add another segment and select the work option again, but this time I'm setting it for 30 seconds. So after I ride the bike or row, I'm gonna jump straight into push-ups for these 30 seconds. Next, add another segment, but now I will choose the recovery option and set it for 30 seconds for rest on each round. Now you see I have one minute of bike or row, 30 seconds of push-ups, and 30 seconds of rest. Next, I need to set a number of rounds by adding a segment, but this time I'm gonna choose the repeats option. From there, select each segment and hit next. And from there, set your number of rounds. I'm choosing five for this workout, so that's gonna be the total number of rounds for this workout. At last, I will set a cooldown of three minutes for this hit workout, so set it to what you need, but I'm just gonna do three minutes here. Also see there is a repeat title at the top of the segments with the number five. This indicates the five rounds we set earlier. When you're done, you can name this workout now, whatever you want. So just name it and select create workout. If you scroll to the top, you can see the workout you just created. You can adjust any settings you just made to fix your workout if needed from there or just start it. Take a look of how to create a strength training workout from scratch I mentioned earlier. This week's video shows you how to create a few workouts and I'll have a related video next week on tips and tricks that you can use for some of these types of workouts. As you see, there are many options you have with workouts on Apple's workout app. Today's video only really showed a few examples of those, but there are many possibilities that might make your workouts more efficient, especially if you need it as a timed workout. A couple of notes I would like to reiterate the repeat option represents the number of rounds you have for that workout, so my recommendation on any type of HIIT training or just basic strength workout, just keep your settings simple at first. When you start to alter the exercise along with the work time during that workout or even rounds, you can either update the description and just create multiple versions of workouts so you can choose quickly. or like I said, keep it simple, set up a generic workout where you just update the times and rounds each time you do work out. So whichever works, just do whatever option is easier for you and enjoy it. I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope it gives you some ideas for creating or editing workouts so this workout app on your Ultra or Apple Watch works more efficiently for you. As I mentioned earlier, I'll have a related video next week where we talk about tips and tricks when using to create your workout. So I really appreciate you supporting the channel. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click on that notification bell to see my future videos quicker. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer. Have a great day. I'll see you later.